Okay, hey, hey, this is Kendall with TC Fit. We have Strictly Strength today. Few reminders, work at your own pace. Um, and as far as equipment, I have 10s and 15s. Um, I'm gonna be using 10s for mostly like upper body and low body stuff, and then 15s for more of our supine chest presses, okay? Make sure you have some water. Good attitude, because it's Monday. You know how that goes. All right, let's do a little uh, hip swivel, up and around, do a squat alternating. So uh, what's going on for today's format, we have two blocks of work, three exercises in each. So kind of, a, kind of minimal exercises today. And one minute of, it, of everything, three times, three exercises, two groups. One more each. Last one. Hold it down into your squat. Whoops. Reverse flies. Lift and lower. Head stays in line with your spine. Last four. Three. Two. And one. A little lengthening through your hammies. Send one leg straight, up and around with your arms, other side, alternating. Mobile through your shoulders. Maybe if you did a lot of sitting throughout the weekend, lengthening through the back of your legs. All right, Minneapolis is starting to warm up. I hear some melting going on, some birds chirping, the last one, good, feet hip distance apart, roll it down one vertebrae at a time, soft bend to your knees, and roll it back up, roll your shoulders back, and again, on your chin, rounding it forward, pause, roll it back up, roll your shoulders back, last one here, rounding it forward, Roll the back up. Roll your shoulders back. Alternating reverse lunges. Step it back with your right foot. Reach up and over with your left, or I'm sorry, your right arm. And step it back together, other side. Alternating. You don't necessarily have to stay to my pace. Go a little bit slower, faster. So it's been a while since I've taught this exercise, but we're bringing back the devil's press today. A little dumbbell swing to almost kind of a snatch um, position. One more each. Okay, so what we have first, I'm gonna grab my tent. We have a reverse lunge pulse. Okay, so what it looks like, stepping back, lunge, pulse, pulse, together, lunge, pulse, pulse, together, alternating. We go in three, two, and one. One minute here. So our first block is gonna be more of our cardio-based strength training. So moving, moving, moving. Really drawing your belly button in toward your spine, tall posture. Good. Now what I want you to focus on, your front leg. As you step back together, squeeze that glute. So you're isolating your glutes. Next up, all upper body. Two rows, two flies, two curls. 15 seconds. We do have our good old devil's press in this block of work. That is our last exercise. Five seconds. Three, two, one, two rows. Here we go. So one, two, two flies. One, two, two curls. Standing. One, two. We do it again. Hinge it forward. Two rows. Two flies. I have my tens for this. Two curls. Hinge forward. Two rows. Two flies. Two curls, awesome, keep it up. Two rows, more than halfway there. 
Get our heart rates up. If the flies are too much at this weight, you can either lower down or take them out. Three, two, and one. Devil's press. This is what it looks like. Swing, rack press, and down. Swing, rack press, down. Now, if you've done this before, go ahead and get into it. If you need a little bit more instruction, think of a dumbbell swing, okay? Rack it up to your shoulders, then press, rack, and down. Then you speed it up. So it's one continuous motion. Devil's press. This is what's going to get our heart rates up. If they weren't before. Less than 20 seconds. You got it. Ten. Then you have a quick, quick break. We do it all again. Three, two, one, done. 20 seconds of rest, that's it. It goes by quick. Friendly reminder, first exercise, reverse lunge pulse. Alternating 10 seconds. Woo! Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Down, down, together. Now for your pulses, think of a down position, meaning you're not coming up to get height, you're staying low. Now again, I'm using my 10s, you can certainly use 12s, 15s, 20s, or go lighter or body weight. Halfway there. Two rows, two flies, two curls. Okay. Coming up next. Come on, come on. Less than 20 seconds. Keep your weight even through both legs as you lunge. Whoa. Woo! Step to the side here. Last five. Three, two, one. Upper body, here we go. Two rows, two flies. Two curls, all at your own pace. Slow and controlled. Two rows, two flies, two curls. Woo! Feet hip distance apart. Bicep curls, you can either do Palms facing, so hammerhead style, or palms up. Make sure to get your full range of motion versus just a 90 degrees. 10 seconds, devil's press. Five, three, two, one, let's go. Down, rack, press, and rack. So I want you to set each time back to your shoulders and then go into your swing. Now, if this is not working for you, try just your squats, All right? Can we do it one more time? Ooh. Doing good. Less than 20 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. 20 seconds is yours. All right. Let's get excited. One more round. One more set. Push our limits here. If you want to increase weight, try it. Even if you go, don't get through that, that whole minute, 
That's how you get stronger. Okay, here we go. Pulse, pulse together, lunge. So that's the whole idea behind timed endurance training is let's say you try and exercise 20, 30 seconds for an increased weight. And then the last 20, 30 seconds, you uh, decrease your weight just a little bit. That's okay. Whew. Again, 90 degree angle with your legs. Hips are square so that you're not opening up, right? 10 seconds. Five. Two rows, two flies, two curls. And go. One, two, fly, two curls. Full range of motion. Upper body, abs. <sighs> Last time we're doing this one. More than halfway there. <sighs> you can always pause and take a deep breath if you need to. Take three to four seconds. Grab your breath, get back into it. 10, five, three, two, one, last round of Devil's Press, go! Sink low into your squat. You're not just bending from your knees or, you know, lowering from your upper body. Keep it tall. You want that zigzag position. We're coming up on a longer break here, 40 seconds. 40 will be your break. Whew. We're gonna need it. 20 left. Keep up your pace. Five, three, two, one, done. 40 seconds is yours. Okay, second block of work. We have, with either one dumbbell or two, side squat, twist and rotate, center, return, side squat, twist, and back. Then onto all fours. You have a quadra, quadruped, tricep push-up, and then a bare lift. So, knees, knees just lift to a hover, and then back down, tricep push-up, bare lift. Then, onto your back for chest presses. Okay, here we go in three, two, one, and go. So, side squat, twist, center, return. With or without your dumbbells, that's okay. Now, as you can see on my end, I have a BOSU. This is just to modify on my end for my chest press on the last exercise, okay? Doing good. Now, think about the weight that you're gonna use for your chest press. We're gonna be there for one minute. I'm gonna bump up to my 15s. Have them set on either side of your mat, like I have it set up. Five, three, two, one, quadruped. On all fours, elbows dip down. Press, lift your knees to a low hover, and then back down. Triceps and lift. Now an easy way to cheat on this 
is to shift your weight back as you do your push-ups. Keep it shifted forward. You didn't come here to cheat. More than halfway there. And then gang, you're gonna flip onto your back. Grab your weight for your chest press. Again, I have a Bosu out just to modify for myself. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Grab your weights all the way onto your back. Elbows wide. Pressing up to the ceiling. And back down. Now, for at home, if you don't have heavy enough weights for a chest press, and you're using lighters, maybe fives or tens, do a chest fly. Okay, so that's gonna add more difficulty. Chest fly. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds to transition. All the way up. Okay. Round two. Either body weight or with weights. I'm probably gonna use one dumbbell. Here we go in three, two, one side squat. Rotate. Center, return, other side. All right, so for those who want a little bit more challenge, Here's what we're gonna do, add a lengthening of your back leg, bend, center, return, other side. Out, lengthen, bend, center, return. Adds a little bit more challenge for our front leg, glute and hamstring. Ooh, a little bit more coordination, right? You have to think. Stay low, sink. Fifteen seconds. Quadruped tricep push up to a bear lift or bear hover, whichever you want to call it. Three, two, one, onto all fours. Here we go. Toes tucked under. Dip and lift. Dip and lift. Embrace your core, embrace your torso as you lift. Really pull your abs in toward your spine. Engage your transverse abdominals. Think deep. Pelvic floor. Draw upwards. Twenty seconds left, gang. Triceps, core. Let's get ready for our chest press. In three, two, one, transition onto your back. Now you can either keep both feet down, like so, or both legs up for a little bit more ab challenge. Takes me a little bit more setup. <laughs> okay, doing good. Keep your chest presses. I'm gonna keep going like so. My microphone is just falling off. Keep it up. So either your chest presses or your flies. Chest press or fly. You have 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 
two, one, rest. All right, gang, 20 seconds to transition. Back up to your feet, you're doing awesome. This is the last time. This is it. 10 seconds. Let me grab just one of my dumbbells here. Rack it up to my shoulders. Here we go in three. And let's go out to the side. Twist, lengthen, and together. Always be careful of your surroundings at home, especially if you have dumbbells all over the place. Be mindful of where you're stepping. Halfway there. Whoo! 20 seconds. Quadruped, triceps, and knee lift. Last 10. Keep it up. You got five. Three, two, one, down to the ground, go. Again, keep your weight shifted forward, shifted forward. So we're still working our pec muscles. However, it's more challenging for our triceps on this one. Halfway there. We end with our chest press. Fifteen seconds. Whew, keep it up. Three, two, one. Grab your dumbbells onto your back. Chest press or fly. Press or fly. So as you're bending your elbows, don't allow your arms to touch the ground fully. You wanna, you wanna just lower them down, down to a low hover and then press. Okay, gang, here we go. Last 15 seconds. Bend here, hold. Isolated hold, 90 degrees. Elbows hovered off the ground. You got it. You have 10 seconds, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one, release, gently send your, set your weights off to the side. Awesome job. All right, let's transition onto um, a half kneeling position. Keep your left knee down, right foot forward. Nice deep lunge to open up your hips. Awesome job. And now send your front leg straight. Hinge it forward, hold it here. And go ahead and release. Let's do the same thing, other side. Right knee down, left foot forward. Nice deep lunge into it, opening up our hips. So gang, we have a new group fitness schedule starting this week. Tomorrow will still be uh, Feel Good Fitness. Wednesday, we are doing Strictly Strength. Thursdays, we're bringing back Body Weight Hit for a little bit more cardio-based exercises and no equipment needed. Send your front leg straight, hinge it forward. So I'll be teaching Mondays and Tuesdays. Christy will be teaching Wednesdays and Thursdays. Intermittently, um, Kim Peeper will be teaching um, a couple of Monday classes just to give me and my body a little bit of a break. And go ahead and release, stay down to both knees, reach your arms up, lateral flexion, and re 
return and other side. Ah, nice lateral flexion, stretching through your lats. Let's do one more each. And bring yourself back up to both feet. Just dead hang over your legs. One last stretch for your hammies. Allow your head to drape. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. As the last to return, roll your shoulders back. You made it, everyone. Nice job today. Thanks so much for joining Strictly Strength. We'll see you later.